and showtime. What's going on everybody? Today's video is all about the Modox Big Meter Large Scale Industrial 3D Printer. The first video in this series will cover all of the mechanical parts and the assembly of this printer. I will be covering more of the build so hit that like and subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss a video. Alrighty, let's jump right in. So one drawback against the desktop 3D printers is going to be the build volume. Either as a designer you're going to have to split large parts up into multiple pieces and then you're going to have to get creative on how to join these parts together or if you're printing one off larger pieces you're going to have to use the slicer scaling tools so that you can fit it on the bed. So take the airless basketball that is on Thingiverse created by B44D. You can't actually print his largest size on a 220 by 220 millimeter print bed, which I'm using the Creality Ender 3S1 Pro. I had to actually scale down the original file just so it could fit onto the bed. So are there printers with a larger print bed? And what does that actually look like today? Many industries like the aerospace, car manufacturers, and even architecture fields have been using large-scale 3D printing. There have been entire homes that are 3D printed. So what are my options if I don't want to spend my entire son's college fund here? From doing a bit of research, things can definitely spiral out of control in terms of money on these large-scale 3D printers. You are most definitely paying for the larger build volume as one of the main driving factors of the price. This brings me to the Modix Big Meter 3D Printer. A 3D printer which boasts of a build volume so large of 1000 millimeters by 1000 millimeters by 900 millimeters. That is huge. printer is enormous so what does it look like to ship over a thousand pieces of self-build 3d printer kit well a lot of boxes atop a wooden pallet and each box is stuffed with so many parts both big and small you're gonna need to stay organized in what's in each box my head hurt the whole first day unpacking all these parts behold my stuff. So I'm going to focus my review mechanically and on the design of the Modix printer itself. I'll review the electronics later in another video. So Modix does not overly complicate this build. Essentially the printer has the cube aluminum extrusion frame and all of the linear rails mount directly to the frame with nuts. The one thing I don't like for a printer this size is that Modix decided that the build plate, which is large and heavy, should raise up and down with your printed layers. I personally would much rather want to see the extruders themselves 
rays with your print layers, so we'll see how this affects the print. The dual extruders are independent of each other, which is nice, but they do share the same linear guide rail. Now all of the components that are used on the printer are standard 3D printer components, which I could very easily find on Amazon and replace if anything breaks. So it's not like the Modix kit itself is doing anything special on this design in terms of the components that they are using. I feel like the price tag itself for this printer is mainly due to the printed bed size because there's nothing being used on the printer that the smaller desktop printers don't have and in some cases are using better components. For example, there are better filament detector sensors that are used on a smaller desktop printer than what I got and installed on the Modix printer itself. The touchscreen is large and nice, I'll give them that. As of right now, I have to finish up the paneling for the outside. This printer is completely enclosed, which is nice, and connects directly to the outside of the frame. So for me, the build is fine, but it's missing anything to truly make me feel like the Modix has a special printer other than the fact that they really just wanted to emphasize a large build plate. If anything, building this kit has given me confidence that I could actually just build my own large scale printer using some standard 3D printed components I could find online. Now I got a few more panels to install on the outside before, like I said, I test the electronics. So be on the lookout for that video coming up soon on this printer. And now a review of the Modix Big Meter Large Scale 3D Printer Build Kit. But only mechanically because I haven't gotten to the electronics yet and that will be done by a later video. With Mitchell. I mean it's alright, like... Overrated as f in my opinion, I mean... And that was a review of the Modix Large Scale 3D Printer with Mitchell. Thank you all for watching this video. Be sure to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you don't miss a future video on the Modix large scale 3D printer. I hope you had a laugh, enjoyed the video, leave a like and a comment below on your thoughts on a large scale 3D printer. Check out my links that are listed in the description below. I hope your 3D printing is awesome and I'll see you all in the next video.